There's no, uh... There's no way to stop the water, is there? Well, I, I was assuming that I can't go in the water. Will the water actually hurt me? Oh, no, it won't. Okay. I've been avoiding the water for a bit. Is she in there? Is that what's happening right now? Go in without me, Scoob. You gotta do it, buddy. I believe in you. Get, get the fuck over here, someone. There you go. And all this mashing is like killing my fucking hand. The book demands energy. Now I will save because I feel like a, the final boss is coming up. Someone, ghosty, over here. There we go. We're in the final stretch, damn it. Look at Scooby's face. <laughs> He's so unsure of himself. I love you, Scoob. Oh, really? What are you, like, two inches away from me? Come on! Fingers hurt, damn it. My hand hurts. All this fucking button mashing and shit. Is there no, like, option at all? I mean, it's already too late in the game, right? Apply chain. Yeah, there's no, like, control options or game option. Yeah, there's no, like, controller options. Man, why would they do this? Alright. Oh, now I gotta- oh, fuck. I gotta go through the, through the entire level. That's what we're doing here. You guys aren't giving me any goddamn room to do anything. Barely had enough energy to get that guy. One can really use a Scooby Snack in this situation. and ye shall receive. Are you kidding me? Really? The ghost is right there. Come on. The ghost is right there. Literally. The ghost... The, the ghost... Video game. The go. The ghost. <sighs> Let's try this again. The ghost. The. It's not a different ghost. 
We've been... Is it considered a different ghost? Are we serious right now? What? What's happening right now? I think the game is just freaking out. Like, I have, I have energy, right? I'm not... Yeah, I have energy. This is locked and I can't go back. The, go the ghost is right... Oh my god, I'm gonna have to reload the game, aren't I? The ghost... The ghost is right, it's right... Oh my god. Shaggy, tag out. Tag in, my bad. The ghost! The, the ghost is right. I'm just gonna have to kill myself. Oh wait, no, it's a different type of ghost. What the fuck? So where the hell is the page for that ghost? Can I, like... I can't go back downstairs, can I? Um... Did I softlock myself or something? I think I picked up a clue. I might have had to bring in a Velma or something. I, I don't know. Did I just pronounce her name Velmer? <laughs> Door's locked. Okay, what do you... What do you want me to do, game? The, the ghost. Ghost is killing me, video game. I don't... I get scared by the door. The ghost. Hey, ghost, get in the water. Come over here, can you get in the water? Maybe that'll hurt you somehow. Because you're on fire. You're a fire ghost. Get in the water. Eh, the water hurt the fire ghost. Oh my god. That's what you gotta do. You gotta lead him to the water. The go- Mr. Fire Ghost, over here. Come chase me, Fire Ghost. I'm over here, Mr. Ghosty. How the fuck am I supposed to get you in the in the water if you won't follow me? Get the fuck over here! In the water, man! Am I supposed to scare you into the water? Am I supposed to do this and go, eh, hey, look, it's scary. Get in the fucking water! How the hell am I supposed to bring you to the water? I did it somehow before, right? I need you to come over here into the water. Somehow I got you in the water before. I don't know how I did it, but I did it somehow. Like, that guy just wanders into the water, right? So how the fuck am I supposed to, like... Oh my god, get the hell over here. Like, how am I supposed to get him into the water? He's not scared of me. I have, like, no type of ability to, like, push him anywhere, right? So... How the hell? Come on. You. Water. I 
I just like yeah he doesn't want to come into the water so I can't really I can't pull him into the water or anything come on walk a little forward what the fuck am I supposed to do I don't like this guy walks into the water the other one doesn't like am I just supposed to like sit back and wait for him to walk into the water like is that what I have to do I don't I'm actually really confused There we go. Like, I guess I just run past you and just wait here and see if you walk into the water or not. My dog is barking, by the way. Oh, you do just wander into the water. That's so fucking weird. Alright. You know, you would assume a fire ghost wouldn't just be so absent-minded as to just walk into its weakness. So you just kind of gotta wait. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. demand sacrifice like I'm a ghost wrangler. Get it? Like that ghost is toast. come on fill myself up doors locked Jesus doors locked I guess I head over here where, like, the big door was at, where I couldn't go before. That's probably the boss room. Like we did it, oh, come on, man. Cheap. Dude took a cheap shot. Damn right, way to go. Alright. I think that's the last ghost. I mean, of course it is, because the way is open, but still. I think the next room might be the boss room. I feel it in my bones. Any sign of Selena Drake? There she is, up on the roof. <laughs> Let it go, Selena. It's over. My dear Travis, did you really believe I got you into this in order to sell VCRs? There's only one goal worthy of my genius. With the Alpha Wave Modulator, I shall rule the world! <laughs> She's completely mad. Well, duh. I mean, yeah. Prepare to face the Tome of Doom's most powerful spirit. Oh, King of Fire, share my vengeance! So are these ghosts real? That's the main question right here for me. Are these ghosts real? What about Fred and Daphne? What are they doing? 
You know, Fred, the guy who's probably been in the gym like more times than fucking. I don't know. I was trying to look for a joke. I couldn't. I couldn't come up with one. Ah, fuck! Really? Turn on sprinklers. Neutralize the boss. Okay. Well, first, let me get there. You really don't give me that many options to dodge, honestly. Oh my fucking god. How the fuck do I even get to the sprinklers? Oh. Head down here? No. Hi, Velma. Okay, bye, Velma. I'm trying to look for a pathway to the sprinklers. But this one's, like, completely blocked off. I guess he throws fire at it or something and maybe creates a pathway? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he does throw fire at it. Cool. Man, for them to throw fire at it, you really gotta, like, wait. There we go. I think this one's a little free. Yeah, a little bit. Oh my god. Let me get the fucking ghost. Oh my god, he got his fire shit back. Never mind. Never mind you too, shit. Really? I wish they gave me like an option to block or dodge or something, you know? Just gotta, kinda gotta run around and pray that I don't get hurt. on the move. Come on, Ghost, where you at? Because you almost dead. And getting rid of you will definitely help out. Oh, nope. Doesn't matter if I get rid of the Ghost or not. They're just going to keep coming. Come on. Throw the fire. the fucking way, Scooby. You're kind of, like, not helping right now. The one time you're not helping. Oh my god, Ghost. Get the fuck out the way. There we go. Did that just beat the boss? I don't have to capture it? We did it, gang. The antenna's polarity We did it! What's this we you speak of? Still a big ghost, right? Just on fire. How do I capture you? Like, I don't- I don't even have, like- Do I technically even have the page for you? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just waiting, you know? You're damn right the tome's out of juice. Let's just do it over here. Take the, take the book out. There we go. We just, we just stick over here and we're, we're good. Just constantly get powered up. There we go. Get off the roof, crazy woman. Blast you meddling kids. 
Shaggy, Scooby, I want to thank you both. You're a secret agent, by the way. Why didn't Could you help? Have done it without you. Why did you just shoot her? She tried to kill kids. We've been attacked by ghosts, shadows, mummies, zombies. Like I should have your job. Some Scooby snacks make it all better. No, I want I want three million dollars to keep quiet about this. How did you? I did my homework. Hey, what gives? So the ghosts are real, right? There's no man in a mask. They're the, the, the ghosts are real. Now that's one for the books. I mean, I usually usually that's like the thing in Scooby Doo. It's like, is the ghost real or not? But this time we're not even gonna question it. Like the ghosts are okay, they're real. All right, cool. We're just gonna we're just gonna look past that, right? The ghosts are real. Like the other Scooby Doo games that I played, they at least explained why the ghosts and creatures were there, right? This game's like, nah, they're real. Fuck it, whatever. With no like explanation or even like Velma going like, what? They're real, you know? It's not a complaint. I'm just used to having that thing, right? I'm used to having that conversation. Oh my god, there's more? Credits. Okay, cool. So, that's a, I forgot the name of this fucking game. Uh, Scooby-Doo and Monster Mayhem, right? Something like that? Something like that? That's the name of this fucking game? I don't know. Um, I originally was gonna play the the Scooby-Doo game for the Wii, but then when I was looking at it, I was like, eh, it looks kind of iffy, right? So might as well do what might be considered one of the last good Scooby-Doo games, right? You know? And I can see, I can see why people don't really talk about it that much, because it's kind of very, it's like really simple, and also have, I just hit a bunch of fucking dog food cans. Um, what the hell was I saying? Uh, I see why most people don't really talk about it. They usually either talk about, um, Unmasked or um, Night of a Hundred Frights because those are definitely more flushed out and like, you know, the mechanics actually work for the most part. Um, I still prefer Unmasked to like Friday of a Hundred Nights, uh, Friday of a Hundred Nights, Night of a Hundred Frights and um, even in this one, like this one definitely is on the lower end, but at the same time it's not bad, it's not terrible. It's like maybe a little tiny smidget above average for a game. Right? You know? It definitely has that, like, licensed 2000, uh, you know, year 2000 licensed game jank, right? You know? Like, I definitely played some licensed games that are way better than this. Uh, but it's not. It wasn't a terrible time. Like, I at least I didn't get, like, a fucking headache towards the end of it or anything, like, um, I did with Night of a Hundred Frights, because, ah, uh, those. Those fucking Scooby snacks, right? And and there are some people who have commented and like told me, um, on like the other, you know, of Nine of Hundred Frights playthrough, which if you haven't watched, you can check that on my channel right now. You know that and Scooby Doo Unmasked, if you want more Scooby content, right? Uh, but people did tell me that like there are some ways to like, you know, work around like, uh, the um. Like the whole Scooby Snack thing, like grabbing like 599 of them or whatever the fuck. But at the same time, like, you can't expect, you can't expect someone who doesn't know that on their first playthrough to, you can't expect them to, you know, do that, right? You gotta look at it from the point of view of someone who's playing it for the first time, and it's like, if the first time requires me to run around and fucking go all the way back and and fucking um, scavenge, scavenge, is that the word? Savage? I don't know. Salvage? Salvage, that's the word. And salvage, um, I was music, I was fic, <laughs> I was combining the word savage and salvage together. I don't know why. Uh, but if it requires me to go back and salvage a bunch of fucking Scooby snacks, like as many like Scooby snacks I can find within like a corner or something. Right? It slows the pace of the game down. Also, there's really no need for it either. There's no reason that you need Scooby Snacks to unlock doors and shit in that game. But anyways, uh, Monster Mayhem. It's pretty simple. I want to say, I want to say the best parts of this game for me was definitely, um, 
you know, solving, like, the little puzzles and shit, like, in the bayou level, like, I like that, because there wasn't too much of, like, capturing the ghost and fucking mashing buttons. Like, I want a Scooby-Doo game where I walk around with my buddies, maybe it's a bit of a platformer, right? I want Daphne, Fred, and Velma to have, like, some other, some roles in it, instead of it just being Shaggy and Scooby, right? Maybe, like, maybe, like, Daphne gets some fucking sections where she whips out her kung fu moves or some bullshit, and Fred has to, like, you know, have a section where he traps monsters and shit, right? Scooby and Shaggy, like, team up and do some bullshit with platforming, and Velma, like, solves puzzles or something. I don't fucking know. Like, I would really like a game that kind of just incorporates a bunch of bullshit, right? That each character can do, and maybe the Wii game is like that, because you can play as all five of them, I think. But, um... I don't know, we'll, we'll check that out next year for Halloween, you know, if I don't get hit by a car or something, <laughs> right? But Monster Mayhem itself, it's a pretty simple game. It's actually pretty, it's way, in, is it shorter? Yeah, it's definitely shorter than Night of 100 Frights. Um, you know, it's pretty easy. There are some moments of the game that's kind of like not good because either there's like uh, input delay or like... Or like, you know, like those minecart sections where it's just not designed good. But it's not too terrible, right? It's not like something that wanna makes you throw your controller across the room. Right? I'm trying to think of something that like had a moment like that where people can just uh, genuinely agree that it's like a bad moment in the game or something. Right? Um, I'm trying to think of a game that does that, but off the top of my head I really can't like... I really can't think of one. I really can't think of one, right? Like, I don't know, for example, Persona 3 has the whole thing with Tartarus and like how that just kind of goes on forever, right? And like, and like people do end up getting annoyed of that shit, like really annoyed to the point where you just may not want to play the game that day. So that's what I mean. But this one, it's like the minecart and like the motorcycle. The motorcycle one wasn't too bad, but the minecart one was definitely, like, that, that way that shit was designed, it's like, here's your... Like, most turns lead to dead ends and insta-kill you, but, like, if you hit your head on a- f If you're on a minecart going, like, 30- going fucking 85 miles an hour and Shaggy smacks his head on a fucking board, he doesn't die instantly, right? You know? But, like, God forbid you trip in the minecart, right? Like, that's insta-death or something, or smack into a wall, that's insta-death, right? I don't know. It's weird. It was made weird, right? Uh, so there's many games here. Right, let's just take a quick look at this. I'm assuming this is like the mic. Oh, they're all locked. All right, fuck me. What about trailers? Are those locked? Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Oh, that's the live action movie. And Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. That's like direct to DVD movie. What's new, Scooby-Doo? Let's look at the trailer. Safari so goody. All new on DVD. It's Scooby-Doo Safari so goody. Four all new adventures in one collection. Scooby-Doo and the gang take off on vacation and take in some very scary sights. <laughs> okay, look blazing. First, take a trip with Scooby-Doo and the gang as they safari around Africa. This place needs AC. Then get the ups. Is this? Oh, man, this is like back in the day where fucking like DVDs would only have like four episodes of fucking of like a show. And then they're like, how much was that DVD? It's like it was 20 bucks. Right? But now you can buy, I know, I know, uh, what's new Scooby-Doo, there's like a complete, a complete, like, box set you can buy or something like that. Kind of like how the Danny Phantom DVD is, right? You can kind of... That hip new lingo. <laughs> right? Uh, like, for example, I know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, 2000 series, right? Like, there's no, like, complete... There's no, like, complete box set or anything for that, but, like, you can buy each, you can buy, like, four episodes, like, you can buy, a, like, a volume of, like, four episodes each or something, like, it's really weird. I don't know, it's fucking, I don't know, I, I don't know why those things don't have, like, the full series on, like, a DVD or a Blu-ray yet, right? Like, it took forever for Avatar The Last Airbender to have that, and, like, I don't even have that Blu-ray because I heard it was bad, so I just have, like, the box set DVD, um, <laughs> sitting in my room, right? I got a lot of things. I got a lot of things. Okay, cool. I got a lot of things that, that remind me of my childhood. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. I never watched this movie, actually. This is the one where all the monsters are real. And then even even in this movie, I think they explain... I think they explain why they're real. It's like some mad scientist or some bullshit. Right, 
I forgot the name of the actor, but that's the dude who plays uh, Ghostface in the fucking first Scream movie. I love it. And of course, Cher Michelle Geller is fucking... Cher Michelle Geller, right? That's Daphne in this series, right? I should watch this movie, honestly. What the fuck? Monsters unleashed. Are you guys okay? <laughs> 2004. America Online Keyword Scooby Doo 2. What the fuck? Yo, the fucking blast from the past, man. Right? Like, might as well watch the other fucking trailer since we're here. Fuck it, why not? Um. Hi, lads, it's coming. From the foggy shores of the Loch Ness. Loch Ness Monster was alright. I know some people who think it's the best Scooby Doo movie, but in my opinion, I'm like, eh, it's alright. I mean, you got you got the witch's ghost, right? And then you got, of course, you got Zombie Island, which is the end all be all. Right? Um, really? Was that the trailer? Wow, that was very short. Okay, wow. Um, but yeah, that's a Scooby Doo Monster Mayhem, right? And you know what I realized? This whole entire playthrough went by, and I did. I don't think I even talked about. Um, there are like kids screaming in my background right now. But anyways, I don't think I talked about like the live action, um, like pilot episode of, of Mystery Incorporated. I think that's what they're calling it, right? It came out like earlier this year or whatever. It's like an hour long on YouTube. You can watch it. I tweeted about it when it came out, right? Uh, you know what? Actually, fuck it. If I got time this October, fuck it. Even in November, I'm gonna, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do like a review of that. Yeah. Because I really want to talk about that, you know? And I don't think I talked about it yet on this channel at all. I think I talked about it in one of my streams, but I don't, I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, that's it. You know, for this game, Mystery Mayhem. I had a good time, right? It's not bad, you know? Would I revisit this game over like Night of 100 Frights even though I probably prefer this over Night of 100 Frights in terms of like just a video game? Probably not. It's too short. It's too uh, it's too short. It's too short. It's too short. It's too short and kind of too simple just for my taste, right? In order of like going back for a, uh, a, re a replay. But in terms of um, in terms of like the game itself, I probably do prefer it over Night of a Hundred Frights, honestly. I'm probably one of the few outliers, right? But, um, you know, but I would definitely go back to Night of a Hundred Frights over this, and over all of them, I would definitely go back to Unmasked, because that game just makes me feel good. Um, like, and I, and the first time I played it was for this channel, right? And, like, it, it's probably one of my favorite games now, honestly. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Scooby-Doo, good times, good times. Anyways, if you like what you saw, if you like the playthrough, please leave a like. It helps out the channel, right? Get some more eyes on the channel. Uh, leave a like, comment, right? Subscribe, um, and most importantly, share it with your friends, man. If you if your friends looking like for for someone to watch, and you're like, oh man, this this YouTuber slash streamer is kind of cool, send it my way, right? Also, I have a Twitch. Right, it's in the description. It's also on my channel, but if you don't know what my Twitch is, it's Firestorm Zero underscore Zero altogether um, on Twitch.tv. Right, um, right now there is no planned playthrough as of this recording. There is no planned playthrough for Twitch, but I am streaming later tonight as of this recording. Right, um, so so maybe that would change. Right, I don't know what I'm streaming, but I did recently finish. Um, I did recently finish like a 100% playthrough of Arkham Knight, which should be going up on the channel. And then also I took a quick look at Gotham Knights, which, you know, that, that stream was more like chilled and laid back. It wasn't nothing crazy, but you know, it was still, I had fun with the game, but, um, yeah, so there's that. So my YouTube, my Twitch and my Twitter in the description, my Twitter is the same thing as my Twitch. It's Firestorm zero underscore zero. And yeah, if you want to check anything else on my channel, please do. I have a a hour long review if you want to hear me talk about a v documentary called We Met in Virtual Reality, 
right? And I did it, you know, I did the review while I was in virtual reality just to kind of like, you know, spice it up a bit. But yeah, uh, for the people who did watch that, apparently they do like the review, uh, you know, and I'm happy about that, right? But if you want to check that out, you know, check it out, right? You know, I'm also having like uh, Phasmophobia should be going up on the channel, like some VR stuff and all the other bullshit. Now that's a lot. I'm plugging a lot of bullshit. I can't shut up. All right. So that's the end of this. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. As always, stay happy, stay healthy and take care.